I have trouble finding words. Um, I see things upside down and back to front sometimes. I have to really think hard about how to use a blow dryer. I do have some episodic short-term and long-term memory loss. Dementia is an umbrella term for a group of uh, diseases or conditions causing cognitive impairments such as memory loss, um, changes to thinking. Or you can look at dementia in a more holistic view. It's uh, people with dementia see the world in a new way. I was told to get my end of life affairs in order and uh, to perhaps even start going to daycare in an aged care facility. Everyone I saw afterwards told me to give up work. I, I was 49 years old and I was told to give up uni, it would be too stressful. I was provided with a shower rail and a ramp at the front door and I still don't need either of those. All of my hope for any sense of a future was taken away. So the first year or so was a pretty dark place. When I talked to my university lecturers, however, a year or so after the diagnosis, they said to me, well, your symptoms are only very mild at the moment. And so I've been seeing university disability, disability advisors ever since. You know, I think if I'd gone home and given up, I believe that I probably would either not be here anymore or would be very late stage dementia. It's almost like people are scared of us. Um, I've had people say that uh, it, it's too difficult, it's too hard to have contact with people with dementia. We don't like the fact that they might repeat themselves and it makes us feel too uncomfortable. Most people think that dementia is late stage and old age. Aging is not a risk factor for dementia, but once we hit 65, every five years, the likelihood of getting a dementia increases. I've got members of Dementia Alliance International. Our youngest member was 18 when he was diagnosed. People with dementia are being systematically segregated inside nursing homes. It's not okay to segregate people and lock them away as if they're other. Dementia is the only experience I've ever had where I have experienced the late Dr. Martin Luther King's sense of nobodiness. Actually felt like a non-human being. When someone gets diagnosed with dementia, that's absolutely the time they need you more, not less. Because I've been proactive about the symptoms and engaged in um, neurophysio and some rehab techniques, I feel like I have managed to live a much more positive life alongside of these disabilities. Uh, through the services of a speech therapist, I've learnt to slow down the inner voice in my head. There's lots of apps where I can type something in and it will speak for me. I use this when I'm really tired and find it difficult to find or say words, especially at the end of a day. I know now that I should have been supported to stay at work. If I was 85 with a diagnosis of dementia, instead of being told to go home and give up and get ready to die, I should be supported to keep living my life in whatever capacity I want.